Today, I'm going to see what there is to see, to feel what there is to feel, and to know what there is to know. Just those three simple things. This is a very powerful soul-shifting mantra from Dr. Barbara DeAngelis. What does it mean exactly? It means to stay open, to remove those blinders that you've placed on yourself with your busyness, with your addiction to sugar, alcohol, Facebook, whatever they are. It's taking those off and letting yourself be. Less human doing, more human being. My wish for you is that you stay very conscious of what you're receiving. So we receive a lot every day, but we don't necessarily let it sink in or take it in for ourselves. And I'm talking about good things and even lessons learned. We don't necessarily take them in. For example, my friend was at the CES trade show and she sent a screenshot of the princess rap battle marketing material and I was on it which was really cool and I got it and I was like oh uh, my friend Colleen was over and I showed her and she said are you taking this in this is a really big deal and I thought about it for a second and I said N I guess not no I just thought it was cool I didn't think anything more of it or really let myself feel all the awesomeness that I could have felt in that moment but I was like oh yeah cool that's just a thing but no it didn't have to be me on there thank you Whitney Avalon for putting me on there but it didn't have to you know and so that was really cool and I kind of shrugged it off as like oh you know it's not my thing I was just a very small part of it and not really letting myself have that moment right Another example of this is taking in compliments when you receive them. Actually take a second before deflecting it right back to the other person of like, no, you're having a nice hair day. No, I love your shoes. It's not being arrogant by actually receiving the compliment and saying thank you before you give a compliment back. You're actually nourishing yourself. And if you're deflecting it so, so quickly, you're not, you aren't. You aren't giving yourself the opportunity to really feel what there is to feel and know what there is to know. You're kind of just... Yeah, you know, it's you, not me. And that is not nourishing for your soul. Just like your body needs food to stay nourished and live and grow, so does your soul. So receiving is a huge part of that nourishment to your soul. So let yourself feel it. The fastest way to heal is to feel, and that means facing whatever you're going through head on, letting yourself feel it, getting to the root of the problem and what you don't want to do again, learning your lesson, and then being able to apply it. Don't stay in step one where you're wallowing what in everything that you did wrong. Get out of that. Learn the lesson from that because you don't need to beat yourself up to learn a lesson. That's primitive. You will be able to remember because you are going to apply this lesson moving forward and you will not stay stuck letting it fester without facing it and letting it stay there and grow louder and louder until it hits you head on you're looking at it directly saying I see you I feel you let's get through this what can I learn from this So remember today and every day, you're going to see what there is to see, feel what there is to feel, and know what there is to know so you can stay open to all the wonderful that is your life. Thank you for watching.